tour it's a short tour and we're celebrating me passing my state board exam so i'm just gonna start from where i am here is just a shelf that was already in the space um, I don't have much on it because I don't want everything to be cluttered. So I just have my practice hand with my little backdrop, my cuticle oil, of course, airbrush kit, lotion if my clients need them, pens with my mom's business on them, and then of course my own business cards. When I'm here, I flip to where her card is showing. And then when I'm not here, I put mine right in the front. Uh, my wax warmer, some magazines, some towels. This is usually fully stocked, but, you know, I need to go wash. Down here is a hot towel warmer with my sterilizer. And then, of course, I have my liners for my pedicure chair, which I will be doing a separate video for this chair. Um, it is a great chair. It's a great investment if you're just starting out as a beginner, um, just because it's saves the hassle of having to have plumbing and all of that stuff so that's the chair there will be a separate video for that and then here's just my cart i like to keep everything really organized so that's just it i don't generally do gel polish on toes but the lamp is there if they want it so that's it for that side the decor is just the clock a mirror and then these beautiful posters that I got off of Etsy I just feel like they're very minimalistic they get right to the point of what we're doing here and I just love it okay also I got this pillow off of Vistaprint very cute and my color scheme was supposed to be black white pink and gold but I had to change it because everybody's doing pink so I went with teal or turquoise and that's what you'll see here with my client chair. It's a very beautiful, comfortable chair. It does not have wheels on it, but it does swivel. And also it has the height adjuster. Both of these chairs I got off of Walmart. So my chair is black and it does have wheels on it just for me to, you know, get back and forth to grab stuff or just to move back so I could open up my desk here because it does have a drawer in it. And the desk is actually from Target. It's just a plain white desk. So for the decor up here, it's pretty plain. This area right here is empty because that's where I'm going to put my barbicide certification. And then, of course, my licensing information. And then I just had this picture here in storage, which was perfect. It went right with my color scheme. And then this print I also got off of Etsy. And then here is my nail polish rack. I do plan on ordering another set. I don't have very many polishes and that's just because I'm going to switch to all acrylic very, very soon. But you can see I have quite a few still. And then under there I have a very small rack for my powders. And these are just like, you know, the basic powders sorry it's really dark but here is just the white from young nails cover earth and then i had to put some in here because i had a little bit extra from my last container here's cover taupe french pink two glow in the dark powders from nail supply glamour my mia secret stuff here is cover pink by young nails i should probably move that up here but yeah here's my mia secret and then you know just some other stuff I got some gel in my mystery box, so that's what that is. Here I have some dip swatches. Now, I don't do dip a lot. I just have it just in case someone, you know, asks. And then, of course, here I have my swatches. So these are all of my acrylic swatches. It's not that many, but it's still a little bit of range. And then, of course, I have two rings for the gel polishes. So I have a pretty good variety of things for people to choose from so yeah here is all my colored acrylic i have some spider gel and then some colored acrylic from young nails and then just some miscellaneous uh, gel polishes that don't have the regular polish with them here i have my transfer foils and then some chrome swatches over here but 
you know, just keeping it cute, keeping it simple. So here's just like a little cabinet. And this is just where I keep my extras. It's just where I keep my extra liquids. So like my sanitizer, monomer, barbicide, my soaking bowls, and of course my sanitizing spray. And then here up here is just my powders, just, you know, miscellaneous stuff. Some no wipe or no lint wipes from OPI. Those are the best ones to use. Then in this top drawer here, I just have glitters, literally just glitters, glitters again glitters so i have a very um wide variety of options for glitters and then here i just have some striping tape this came in like a huge little not a huge little this came in a huge like kit i guess you can say i don't think it was a kit i don't know it was off of amazon i don't really use striping tape but i have it here are all of my stones and of course some more glitter um flakes then we have like you know the butterfly snowflakes stuff to encapsulate and then of course like i said rhinestones and then i have these stamping plates from young nails i'm just going to keep them in there and it came with a little stamper um for this drawer we have miscellaneous things as well so stuff like the 3d charms i have quite a few of these and then of course, you know, the things that come in these little containers. Then of course I have my transfer foils in here and some other stuff to encapsulate. These two are empty because I don't have anything to put in them yet, but you know we will. So this is the drawer next to my nail table and it's just pretty much all of my essentials so here of course i have my melody susie drill this acrylic container i got from the pottle website and then here i just have some no lint wipes cotton balls and then some makeup wedges if i need to do some chrome work then there i have my liquids so i have my acetone monomer young nail swipe my resin spray some cuticle conditioner I think is what it's called it's from OPI and that's if someone just wants to just get a basic manicure and then of course I have some cuticle oil okay for the top drawer for the top drawer this is gonna be like my essentials drawer so here I just have a bunch of top coats my little triangles if I need to get out some little jewels or whatever and then of course this little piece of glass I use when I just need to get small amounts of polish. I have some nail forms back there. And then these are going to be my go-to for just applications. So I have the Core Clear and Speed Clear. I've been kind of testing them out to see which one I like most. I do like Speed Clear. I don't know how to explain it, but I just like it better. Way better than regular clear. Here I have my hand piece. I don't keep it out for the simple fact that when it's plugged in, this end bends or this end bends and then it creates a short in the handpiece and I had to replace my handpiece because of that. So that's why I keep it in there so it's not bent up or just in case someone is out here messing with my stuff, it's going to be safe. Here I just have some brush on glue, the resin for the stones, and then I have transfer foil glue here. These are my two favorite go-to nail tips. I have the Half Moon and then the Royal Salon. Down here are just some other ones. These are full well tips that I don't really like to use full wells, but they're there. And then I have two stiletto tips that I can use. And then these were the very first pack of nail tips that I bought. I don't really like them, but if I need to use them, I have them. There's nothing in that one. And then down here is where I keep all of my dip stuff. Like I said, I don't have a lot. I have what I need. And that's just that. It's pretty small, but it's 
you know, it's perfect for me and my needs. The favorite thing is this window. When it's daylight outside, it brings in beautiful natural light. So that's what I love about this space. And also that it's semi-private. So, you know, I can get walking clientele when I'm ready to go full, full time and I can get a little bit more exposure with or from the other people that I'm with in this building. But this is it y'all. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Our 5K giveaway is right around the corner. Follow me on Instagram at BeccaB underscore. Again, my name is Rebecca, and I hope to see you soon.